Legend Total War here, and today we've got a seven year disaster battle playing as the Legion of Chaos, where he's dedicated to Korn, and we're going up against the Disciples of the, of the Moor. And what he's got in this situation here is very much an anti infantry army, and we're going up against an anti infantry army that are monsters. So the Stonehorns here are just an absolute nightmare. The Giants, you know, they'll be a bit of a problem because we don't have missile units, but not as much of a problem as Stonehorns. Um, he's already gone and seduced the Ogre Bulls, which I'd say was, was probably not the correct choice. What you should have gone for was the Saber Tusk pack. That's the only speedy unit in their army, and you can really make use of a speed advantage in these sort of situations by having the fast units distract Stonehorns. But, you know, I can't undo that. I can't just say, hey, can I give that back? It's What's done is done. It was saved to the save file. Um, so let's jump in here and see if we can do a good job. The guy did send in a image showing how he did. So he got fairly close. There were only 20 units remaining. 20 troops. He got pretty close. We just need to do a little bit better than this. Yeah. Now, obviously, I don't have the replay, nor do I really want to look at the replay. It just, it just takes too long doing that. Increases the turnaround of these. Um, but I've got an idea of what to do here, and I don't think he did this. Because what we have to do here is identify the strengths and weaknesses of our army and the strengths and weaknesses of their army. What are our strengths? Anti-infantry. Useless in the situation here. What are our weaknesses? Getting tossed around like crazy. Okay, what are their strengths? Mass. They have massive amounts of mass. Now, the thing about mass in a map like this is that if they toss a unit down a hill, that can kill a unit, even if it wouldn't have otherwise done so. So we really need to reduce the amount that they toss us around. That's one of their big strengths. What are their weaknesses? Um, missile units. I don't I don't have any of those. I got I got this. But yeah, apart from that, I don't have any. So what can we do to maybe mitigate some of their strengths? Well, we can create a, um, a speed bump, basically. We have the tools needed to do that. So what I'm going to do here is create a blob of infantry. Now, this might theoretically seem like a bad idea, especially considering they've got a spellcaster in their army. This guy here has the Bone Crusher spell, which would suck if he cast it on us, but at the same time, it's not that strong of a spell, so I'm going to risk it, because I'm way more concerned about the Stone Horns than I am about that crap spell. I'll try to snipe that guy as quickly as I can, but we don't really have good tools of dealing with that. So what we're doing here, creating a bit of a blob. Right, now this on its own isn't good enough. Right, this is... The stone horns are just going to toss it around like a garden salad. And if it's one thing that corn hates, it's salad. So, what we do here is we put the minotaurs in here, and I guess the ogre bulls, and they're a lot more difficult to toss around. Now, if they're a little bit closer to the front, right, what'll end up happening is that the various units are going to charge in, and rather than just tossing all the infantry units around, they'll toss the very front line out. Uh, they're going to reach a Minotaur. The Minotaur is going to act as like an impenetrable force for them and just stop their charge. Now, generally speaking, the AI don't really think to cycle charge um, Stonehorns. Stonehorns just keep charging among max of infantry. They're really good against loose formation infantry, right? But if you're in a tight formation with a speed bump in there, they're just going to start fighting. They're still going to do a ton of damage, but we're not going to receive the full penalty from that charge bonus. Now, don't forget, looking at this one here, he didn't lose by that much. We only need a small boost to win this. We, we're not looking for some crazy strategy to annihilate them with ease. We just don't have the tools needed to do that. We just need to get a slight edge. So that's what this is hopefully going to do. Now, like I said, it does have a weakness, weak against magic, but luckily their magic's not that good. Now, um, in terms of the towers, probably best build the the Hell Cannon f uh, tower. It's not very accurate, but I don't know what else. These ones here are just going to do nothing against them. All right, this guy, just stay here. Uh, don't bother firing at the start. I'll use it a little bit later down the track. Now, the uh, the Chaos Warhounds, they have another purpose as well. 
they're going to be distracting. What we want to do is try to... Um, how about over here? Keep as many of the stone horns away from this, at least at the beginning. If we can get them to run away, that'd be great. Just keep them distracted for a little bit. Just so that we're not taking as much damage as possible. So we can focus on the ones that are here to begin with. And also maybe get them tired. Um, not much else I can do. We'll see if this makes any difference whatsoever. So it's just all about having so much mass in one area that their charge just doesn't work. Okay, we need to get around their back. Okay, we could run across here, but we've got to get their attention. Okay, I think we got one of their attention. That's all I'm looking for, just, just one. Giant's very easy to run over this way. It's not what I was looking for. At least we're kind of confusing them. I have no intention of using these guys in melee. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Might take a little bit of damage there. God damn, they're just as fast as us. They're not actually, it's just because of the um, charge speed bonus. Alright, look, if we could just get one of them out of here, that makes a big difference. Because one stone horn is worth way more than these Chaos Warhounds. Try not to keep them too close to the edge because they have a habit of terror routing. Okay, and let's get this a little bit late on it, but that's okay. Not relying on that too heavily. That's it. It's not much, but it's better than nothing. It's not costing us anything really, because putting these guys with the blob isn't going to do anything. They have no fighting power. That's it, that's it. Just keep them delayed over here. It's definitely not something that we should keep looking at them for ages, but it's just a start. Because the thing is, we don't lose balance of power by doing this, as long as they don't actually hit us. So far, so good, though. About to charge into our rear here. Just redirect. Keep moving. We've also got some summons. Alright, and you. Just wait, I don't know what to shoot at just yet. I think I'll overcast glittering robes. Okay, I need I need a minute. Oh no, we, we've got you know, we've got a uh, yoga balls here. Yeah, that's it. Do buffs. That's what we want them to do. And yeah, he's making shit cuss. Yeah, that, that's exactly what we wanted. See, they just didn't toss us around. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Alright, how about you just shoot at uh, over bulls? That's fine. We want to be shooting at more or less poorly armored units. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, bounce power is not horrendous. Um, yeah, look at this. They're... They just get stuck. Cavalry and shit. Look at this. They're getting fucked up. They can't handle the blob. Oh, that's going to hurt. Oh, that's not going to hurt that much. Yeah, because we got spell resistance. Right, because we're corn. You can't handle the blob. Um, yeah, it would be good if we got rid of him. How about, how about you shoot him instead? Oh, they got us there. Just a little bit. That's okay. See, this is why we needed the other saber task. I could have maybe lured another unit over here. Fill up the waste. I think this is going really well to begin with. Alright, let's pop this in here. Because, yeah, we're not taking much damage. Now, the stone horns should have absolutely wrecked us. They're not tossing us around. Great if you can kill him. Got this one lured quite far away. Yeah. Okay, you're not you're not shooting at targets. Oh, just 
they got terror routed though. Okay, we'll come back around over here and start recapping these points. But yeah, this is this is working out pretty well. See, look at them. They're trying too hard to keep moving. Look, giant seven kills. The AI just can't handle blobs. God damn it, get it out of there. Yeah, but it's doing some damage with that. Like I said, it has one big weakness, but we just gotta do it anyway. It'd be great if we could kill him, but I just don't have the means to, to do it. Yeah, these stone horns are not doing anywhere near as much damage as they, they otherwise could have. And this one's just heavily distracted now. Alright, uh, come over to this spot over here. We'll capture this one first, so that, um, just let that one come in now. Alright, we got no more magic. Hopefully that tiny little bit of extra armor made a bit of a difference. It probably didn't. But I, I didn't know what else to do. Am I going to do Searing Doom on this? No, I don't think so. This can't do friendly fire to us. Actually, it would be even better to take this position first, because that way we can build a tower here so it helps us out. I think we're turning the tide. I think we're winning. So... He's, he's getting a bit of damage in there. It's actually better not to put in um, an attack order, because when he's done, he'll go into melee and just get killed in like one hit. And a great thing here is that most of the units are getting evenly spread out damage. This one here might get wiped out though. That spell's turning. It's working. See, so yeah, if we have a look at their lord, how much damage did he end up doing with that spell? Yeah, quite a lot. But how much damage did we, did the stone horns not do because of it? Hundreds of casualties. Difference. Because they're just not tossing us around like crazy. Part of the garrison, so maybe get killed, but it would be good. Yeah, that's it. Just keep keep doing heals or buffs on them, rather than the bone crusher spell. That's what I'd be doing if I was them. All right, cool. We got that spot. Come over here, capture this one. So this one here isn't going to be of any use. Shame if this one here gets wiped out. But if we lose, everyone dies. Bounce power's in our favor. And the great thing here as well, I don't need to make any decisions. Just let the let the blob do its thing. If I could do some buffs, I'd do that, but I don't have anything for that. Okay, this guy, this one here is gonna get wiped out, unfortunately. And this guy here, that's the one that chased us away. Imagine how much damage it could have done if it was here the entire time. Because I don't think we've killed a single stone horn. There's some that are very close to dying. Alright, been captured. Good. Why don't you come over here? Don't worry about recapping these points. Let's kill off these stone horns now. It'd be good if this one here could get wiped out. Because it's part of their army. Yeah, probably not the best idea to put him in melee. Let's get him out of there. Ah, oh, damn it, they rallied. They rallied. Get out of there. Then I didn't rally. Weird. Come on, get in there. Gotta kill it. Yep, 
Yeah, we've definitely won. Right, I see. This guy's been healing. Yeah, because he's got a heal potion. I was wondering why he was so healthy. God, why are you guys doing such a bad job? Haven't even done a one hit point worth of damage on him. Gotta get in front of him. Oh yeah, now they're doing some damage. Could do this, but if you do that, they actually fight back. It's kind of annoying. Come on, just do as I tell you. Okay, this one's rallied, but I don't want to send it back in because it's part of the army. And there's the army losses. We did it. Alright, unfortunately lost the, the two exalted uh, blood letters, but if we had lost the battle, he would have lost all of the blood letters, so... Yeah. That's the difference between blobbing and not blobbing. Obviously, the the downside to it was the spell casting. There wasn't too much we could have done to prevent that in a blob, but it made the, uh, the stone horns all fight like crap. So it was a worthy trade-off. Come on, man. He only had 500 health. Let's see if we can get around over here and catch that one before it leaves the battlefield. But yeah, we practically wiped out their entire army. Um, yeah, if you could kill their lord. I'm sure he's immortal. Let's sort of slow him down then. No, don't. It, see, he fights back. <laughs> they fight back if you use that. Yeah. The pathfinding is not very good for running down single entities. They just don't do a very good job of it. They try too hard to, like, sniff farts out of their ass rather than actually eat it. Eat those farts. Because if you don't, corn's going to feed you salad. Corn would actually like salad, since technically corn is a salad. Shut up. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, we got through it. Um, unfortunately, I don't think there was any other way to have gone about this effectively. Like, maybe spreading our forces out might have been able to pull a win. But I think that going into the blob here made a big difference because these guys here, they got like half the kills that they did in, in this one. All right, look at this, like 200 kills. Some of them, not so much, I've got, got like 68. Like I said, it didn't need to make a gigantic difference. It only needed to make enough of a difference to slow down their mass so that we could get the towers to... Um, to finish them off, or even just get our guys to finish off, because they, they did a fair bit of damage. Anyway, that's, uh, that one. Oh, we also stole this potion of healing. Nice. But yeah, that's the end of, uh, that one there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. I know that, uh, a lot of you guys don't like blobs, but, you know, sometimes you've got to do it. <laughs> it depends on the situation. And don't be afraid of spell casts if they've, if they've got it. Uh, if you can try to mitigate them, then obviously that would be ideal, but otherwise, don't worry about it. Okay, this one here looks like yeah, he should probably fight this one manually, so I'm not going to do this for him. And it was only meant to save the disaster battle, not save his disaster campaign. So I'm done here. I'll send the save file back at this point here. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys, and I'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.